Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be recreating this makeup look on my face. I posted this a few weeks ago and I got requested to record a tutorial, so here I am recording the tutorial. This is such a simple look. Uh, if you're interested in finding out what I used on my face, how I did it, everything, you can just keep watching. All right, let's get started with this voiceover. I bought a legit microphone, so I feel like I should start an ASMR channel. The first thing I'm going to apply is the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. I'm using the shade medium. Now they have new numbering systems. I think G9 is comparable to medium, but I'm not sure. So check out their website. But I've been liking a really light coverage foundation recently. And now for concealer, since your girl is breaking out a lot, Thanks Hormonal Acne, I'm just using the Born This Way concealer in the shade Swan, which is such a beautiful concealer formula. Can't believe I, <laughs> I ignored it for this long, but now that I have it, I'm using the crap out of it. To set my makeup, I'm just using the Milk Makeup Blur and Set. You're going to see this powder time and time again. It's my favorite setting powder at the moment and it has been for the past few months. Now for bronzer, another old favorite. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in Fair to Light, which I've heard that they're going to be discontinuing and I'm so damn sad. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's my favorite bronzer for pale skin. Now for blush, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury cheek to chic blush which looks like a nipple and um it makes me like it even more girl power but it's a really <laughs> it's a really beautiful blush but any kind of warm pinky blush will do now this is the star of the look this is the fenty beauty kilowatt highlighter in lightning dust it looks like wet skin like juicy <laughs> wet skin it is such a beautiful highlight it's amazing. It looks like an RMS highlighter without the stickiness. But for the eyes, I'm using Fire Crystal, which is a very shimmery um, shade. I sometimes use that side as highlighter. Not all the time. I have to feel extra to use it as a highlighter, but I do love it on the eye. I recently went to an Urban Decay event that they had here in San Diego, which was amazing. And it was for their new brow products. So I've been testing out some of their new brow products. This is the eyebrow powder, which has a very soft formula. I actually really liked that. I was pleasantly surprised. I mostly stick to brow gels because my eyebrows are so bushy. I used to use brow powders in the past, but this one's actually really nice. And now, now you're seeing me apply the brow gel. This is such a good brow gel. I love the applicator. The bristles just make it so easy to just brush the brows upwards and they just stay there. <laughs> now, I think this is actually the star of the tutorial, so never mind. This is the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara, the BFF mascara that they just launched in red. I never knew I needed a red mascara until ColourPop released it. It's really cool. And when you remove it, it looks like you've been crying blood. Fun fact. <laughs> Now for the lips, I'm just lining my lips with this MAC lip liner in Chicory, which is a kind of like a light brick red. It's a really pretty shade. So I'm lining the lips and then I'm slightly filling them in and I'm leaving the inner portion of the lips completely blank. So when I apply the lip gloss, it's just going to make the lips look a little bit more like plump. I don't know. That's, what just, that's just my thought process. And now for the gloss. This is basically like the Fenty gloss bombs, but on a budget. They're from Milani. They have a big fat applicator that I like. And the formula is really nice. It's not sticky. It's not thick. It's really nice. Good job, Milani. And that's pretty much it for this look. You can see me posing. This is the most awkward part of filming a tutorial, by the way. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you ever see me post anything, like a specific makeup look that you want me to recreate, just let me know and I'll get around to it.
If you're brand new to this channel, take this moment to subscribe. You can hit the notification bell if you want to. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!